Hello and welcome to the vlog. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm bringing you Don Park's Yard of Statues. Some people call it the Yard of Wonders. Uh, here in Phoenix, Arizona. A little history about Don Parks is that he was a Vietnam vet who worked many years as a mechanic on airplanes, jets, and helicopters, and then he became a bus driver and a security guard. This all helped him fund his love and desire to collect. He credits his collection habit to when he was a high schooler and his grandfather gave him a 1923's Ford Model T. Ever since that day, he's had a desire to collect. The first statue purchased was a 23 foot tall Muffler Man statue of Paul Bunyan welding an ax. In 1980, he sold Paul Bunyan to a shoe safety emporium that later sold it to a lumber company in Southern Phoenix. When that company went bankrupt, Don was able to purchase Paul Bunyan again and put him in his rightful spot in his front yard. Now Paul Bunyan is towering over the statues and structures in his yard. His original property he bought in 1971 and then in 2012 when he had nowhere else to put anything he bought his second property which is adjacent to his house across the street. His collections have filled the front yards, driveways, garages, and interior of both properties. His collections consist of signs, antiques, statues, artifacts, roadside attractions, custom artwork, and a little of everything else. In one of the garages is an original 1923 Model T, which he received as a gift from his grandfather while he was still in high school. Throughout the years, his displays have made subtle changes as he's bought items to display and then sold them years later. Everything is considered lawn art, and meets the code according to the city of Phoenix. These properties are at West Weldon and Indianola Avenue in Phoenix, Arizona. Here's your sign to hit that thumbs up.
vast amount of items in these yards are mind blowing. Every time we would change directions and look in some of the same spots, we'd find things that were new to us. Leave in the comments, do you think this is art, a display of his collection, a case of hoarding, or just a bunch of junk?
Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, let's hit that subscribe button. And remember, life's full of adventures, and we'll see you in the next one.